Hey all, welcome back to Triple Goddess Soapery. My name is Angela, and today we are making a soap called Morel Fairies. Um, it is a very simple soap. I've only um, used pink kale and clay in it, or French pink clay, I guess, because I'm using a fragrance called Lilac and Bloom, and it is a super, super accelerator. So I want it to be very, very simple with this soap, and it comes out beautifully, and actually the fragrance works really well for what I did. But um, this soap, like many of my soaps, are BC inspired. This one is named after Morel Nature Sanctuary. It is in South Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. It is a beautiful nature reserve. I've been there a couple times. It was land that was donated by Bill Morel. He was a local developer and builder in BC, and he passed away in 2003. The park is maintained by volunteers, and one of the best things about this park, and why I named it the, the soap, uh, Morel Berries, is because if you wander through the park, some lovely, amazing individual has put fairy doors hidden all over the park on all the main paths, and it's absolutely adorable. And I will find some pictures and I will post them throughout this video for you to see. If you're on Vancouver Island or if you ever visit, I highly recommend visiting the park. It's a beautiful nature walk. It's not too demanding. I'm an old fat lady and I can walk around there just fine. And it's really fun hunting for the fairy doors no matter how old you are. So yeah, so I highly recommend a visit to the sanctuary. And there's lots of information too that you can find online about the sanctuary and i will try to remember to post the link below in the description so if you want to learn more about all the the habitats and the different animals that call this place home you can take a look all right so um this is getting back to the actual you know logistics of making the soap here on this day when i made this soap i actually had a large batch of soap. I don't know. I had 2,000 or 3,000 grams of oil and I mixed it all up. And then I broke it up into different things because I made a bunch of moon embeds and I made some leaf embeds and a few other things. And then I finished off by making the soap. So you can see here, I'm just kind of making a mess. I had already done the moons and a few things. And now I'm just taking the batter and I'm just adding my uh, French pink clay to it and it comes out a beautiful dusty rose. It's it's really perfect It's exactly what I wanted for this soap and because the fragrance that I'm using is such a super accelerator um, the very first time I used this uh, fragrance um, I was still fairly new to soap making and oh my god it accelerated so fast I was actually laughing and in tears because it was just so funny. I had to smush it into the mold It looks so bad but I will say it smells so good that people still bought it. So whatever. There's no accounting for taste, right? So yeah, so I got my soap all ready, all ready to go. And the very last thing was I put the fragrance oil in and then I just stirred it in with my spatula. I did not blend this at all. And like I said, it's a very simple soap. So I'm not doing any swirls. I'm not doing a second color. Although I think I probably could have done a second color if I wanted to do a white swirl, knowing now that, you know, that it was manageable. But yeah. So I just got my batter in there, gave it a good tap. And honestly, it did not take very long for me to be able to texture this top. Like it really, really um, uh, started setting up super fast. So if you're using a fragrance for the first time, read the, the, um, the notes on the website. And if it's a floral or if it's spicy, chances are it's going to accelerate. So, you know, a word to the wise there. And apparently I walked away from the camera here, but um, I'm just going to leave this because, you know, why bother editing it out? But it did not take very long in here in a second like i'm already like this was all real time i did not edit any of this and look how how firm the soap batter is already so yeah imagine if you had taken an immersion blender to this it would have been a hot mess a hard solid block of hot mess but i don't do too much to it but i do get a nice texture because the soap is just beautiful it's so beautiful to work with the clay is absolutely gorgeous, and I believe I give it a spritz with 
I can't remember if it was White Diamonds Mica. It might have been um, um, Twinkle Rose Eco Glitter. Either way, they all come from Windy Point Soaps. And then I do top it with a sprinkle of some chunky glitter, and I think it's called Moon Glitter or Mood, Mood Glitter. And it is a plant-based biodegradable eco glitter. It comes from the UK. I bought it on Amazon, but if you go to the website, um, you can find all the INCI information and, and everything that you need for the ingredients. And I'm just going to give it a quick sprinkle and we're going to be all done. Like I said, very, very simple soap. Um, it came out absolutely gorgeous and it smells so, so good. Um, when I had my ugly soap that I made last year with this fragrance oil, I actually have had, it went straight to like the discount bin and I actually had someone buy one and then come back to my next market and be like, oh my God, I just need, I need another bar of that lilac soap and it was all gone. Someone had already bought it. So, and there we go. Beautiful and shiny and glittery. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used the Twinkle Rose Eco Glitter as my spritz. And I don't know, I think it looks great. I love how beautiful and and rose gold everything about the soap is. So what I did was I just sprayed it down with some 99% rubbing alcohol, threw it in my old Amazon box with a towel over top and left it there overnight. And this is about 24 to 48 hours later. And we're ready to cut. And I mean, I will show you all of the bars but there's really not much to see except for the actual tops because the tops are just you know chef's kiss absolutely beautiful and we got the beautiful pling i probably need to tighten up my wires and there we go so pretty the eco glitter and the plant based chunky glitter is just perfect. It really takes a very, very simple soap to the next level. And it's a really pretty dusty rose color. And I do have at the very end, I have some styled photographs of what the bars look like. And these are available in my shop now. The next market that I will be at will be October 14th at Arbutus Meadows Farm in Nanus. Um, next after that will be November 17th to 19th. I'll be at the Bevan Park Social Center. And that is the Maker's Market for the Christmas Maker's Market. December 1st to 3rd. Um, by then I'm not expecting to have any of these bars left, but I will be at the German Cultural Center for their... Nanaimo Christmas Village Market, which is a very small, absolutely amazing market, and I highly recommend that you attend. They have some great German food and tons of German pastries and a nice little bakery section, and I'll be there. And lastly, I was just accepted today and paid my fee, and I will be attending the Arbutus Meadows Christmas uh, market and walk of lights and that is again in the noose and it should be a beautiful good time It's from that one is 4 to 8 p.m. On a Saturday and they actually the market runs every Saturday in December up to the 23rd But there's only a market up to the end of the 16th and I'm only gonna be there on the 16th So just just a heads up if you're coming out to the market. I'm only gonna be there on the 16th so, I just want to say quickly, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Ciao!